Hello students, this is your English lesson. Students, today we are going to read a very interesting poem called Skimble Shanks, The Railway Cat from Oxford Modern English Book 8. And this is part of unit number 8 as well. Page number 118. So we start our lesson. Words to know, first of all, bagmen, persons in charge of the mail bags, collar, an English town, crank, a handle, crow, an English town, the train is moving northwards to Scotland, elation, high spirits, hunt the thimble, a party game in which all but one player leaves the room, the person remaining in the room hires a thimble which the others try to find on re-entering the room. To a man, including everyone. Now come to the reading of the poem. There's a whisper down the line at 11.39 when the night mails ready to depart, saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? Has he gone to hunt the thimble? We must find him or the train can't start. All the guards and all the porters and the station master's daughters, they are searching high and low, saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? For unless he is very nimble, then the night mail just can't go. At 11.42, then the signal's nearly due and the passengers are frantic to a man. Then Skimble will appear and he will saunter to the rear. He is being busy in the luggage van. He gives one flash of his glass green eyes and the signal goes all clear. And we are off at last for the northern part of the northern hemisphere. You may say that by and large it is Kimball who is in charge of the sleeping car express. From the driver and the guards to the bag men playing cars, he will supervise them all more or less. Down the corridor he passes and examines all the faces of the travelers in the first and in the third he establishes control by a regular patrol and he would know at once if anything occurred he will watch you without winking and he sees what you are thinking and it's certain that he doesn't approve of hilarity and wrote so the fog are very quiet when Skimble is about and on the move. You can play no pranks with Skimble Shanks. He is a cat that cannot be ignored. So nothing goes wrong on the Northern Mail when Skimble Shanks is abroad. Oh, it's very pleasant when you have found your little den with your name written up on the door and the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet and there is not a speck of dust on the floor. There is every sort of light. You can make it dark or bright. There is a handle that you turn to make a breeze. There is a funny little basin you are supposed to to wash your face in and a crank to shut the window if you sneeze then the guard looks in politely and will ask you very brightly do you like your morning tea weak or strong but Skimble's just behind him and was ready to remind him for Skimble won't let anything go wrong and when you creep into your cozy berth and pull up the Counter pain, you out reflect that it's very nice to know that you won't be bothered by mice. You can leave all that to the railway cat, the cat of the railway train. You were fast asleep at crew, and so you never knew that he was walking up and down the station. You were sleeping all the while he was busy at Collier where he greets the station master with elation but you saw him a dumb freeze where he speaks to the police when you get to 
Gallo Gate, there you do not have to wait for Kimball Shanks will help you to get out. He gives you a wave of his long brown tail, which says, I'll see you again. You will meet without fail on the midnight mail, the cat of the railway train. Now come to the summary of the poem. This poem is written by a famous poet, Thomas Stearns Eliot, who is considered one of the greatest poets of the 20th century. Skimble Shanks, the railway cat is full of rhythm and races along to the beat of a fast passenger train. Skimble Shank is almost human, the master who knows all, the most important passenger on the sleeping car express. The poet starts the poem with the journey. He says the night mail is ready to start. Everyone is waiting for green signal. At last, when it was 11.42, we see Skimble coming out. Skimble coming out of the luggage van and the signal goes clear. The train is set for the north. The poet says that throughout the journey, whenever you open your eyes, you can see the cat somewhere on the train or on the platform. He is attributed with the role of a supervisor. He examines every passenger and we may feel that he never approves of any route. While you are going to your bed in your cabin, you can see the cat behind the guard. In the morning, when you reach your station, you can see Skimble in front of you to say to goodbye by waving his long brown tail and tells you, I will see you again. Exercises Understanding the poem Answer the following questions. A. Why can't the train start without Skimble? Answer. The train can't start without Skimble because he is in charge. B. In what way is Skimble in charge of the train? Answer is Skimble supervises everything in the train. C. Why are the passengers very quiet when Skimble is about? Answer is The passengers were quiet when Skimble is about because he does not approve of hilarity and rot. D. What delights are there for the passengers of the train? Answer. The passengers on the train have cozy berths that are clean and comfortable with an adjustable light, a sink and a window. Also, the guard will bring them tea in the morning. E. In what way are the passengers comforted by Skimble's presence? Answer. The passengers are comforted by Skimble's presence because he won't let anything go wrong. F. What does Skimble do while the passengers are all safely asleep? Answer. While the passengers are all safely asleep, Skimble walks up and down the station that they pass through and greets station masters and speaks to the police. This question is more difficult. Discuss it first. G. How does the poet create the impression of a moving train? Answer. The poet creates the impression of a moving train. There's a wisp or whisper down the line at evening 39 when the night mails or mails ready to depart. Saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? Has he gone to hunt the timber? Thimble, we must find him or the train can't or can't start. To answer the following with the reference to context. A. Saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? Has he gone to hunt the timber? One, who is asking the question? Answer, the people down the line at the train station. To what does hunting the thimble refer to? It means a party game. Three, why is Skimble being searched for? The train can't start without him. Four, what cannot happen till he is found? The train can't start. 
5. When does Skimbal eventually appear? Skimbal appears at 11.42. B. Down the corridor, he paces and examines all the faces. 1. Who paces? Skimbal. 2. Whose faces does he examine? The faces of the travelers. 3. Why does he pace the corridor? Answer. To establish control by a regular patrol. 4. Why does he examine the faces? Answer. To see what you are thinking. 5. What effect does this have on the passengers? Answer. They are very quiet and don't play any pranks. See which says, I will see you again. One, who or what says this? Answer, away from Skimble's tail. Two, who is going to be seen again? Answer, the passenger or passengers are going to be seen again. Three, with what is this message delivered? Answer, Skimble's tail. Deliver this message to the passengers. Four, what is the complete message? The complete message is, I will see you again. You will meet without fail on the midnight mail. The cat of the railway train. Be working with words. One, make sentences using the nouns and the adjectives given. Find the best order to arrange the adjectives. A. Mountains, distant blue. Sentence. In my dream, I saw distant blue mountains. B. Road, narrow mountain, high. The narrow road leads towards the high mountains. C. Watch, new, shiny, steel. The new, shiny watch is made up of steel. D. Face, gray, expressionless, dull. Her dull gray face became, became expressionless due to sudden accident she saw in front of her eyes. E. Snake, green, venomous, long. The green, venomous, long snake suddenly appeared from the thick bushes. F. Car, rover, sleek, black, new. My father bought a new rover car with sleek, black body. G. Artist. Young Pakistani famous. The young Pakistani TV artist is famous throughout the world. H. Suit. Evening ready-made Italian. The Italian ready-made suit is prepared for evening show. I. Shirt. New red smart. The new red shirt is smart fitted. J. Plain. Trans. Atal uh, Atlantic jet propelled, propelled passenger. The transatlantic passenger service with the jet propelled plane began its service between London and New York. Edematic usage. Use the following in sentences of your own. A. More or less. I have more or less finished reading the novel. B. On the move. Workers organization is on the move again. C. To a man. James was talking to a man in his office. D. Is abroad. He is abroad so cannot cast his vote. E. All clear. Jack has now been given the all clear to resume training by his trainer. F. Now and then. Now and then she peeped out of the window to see if they were still in the car. G. By and large. We are pleased by and large with our new house but we are going to change the paint. H. Without fail. I want you in my house by 9 o'clock without fail. See, learning about language, one, find adverbial clauses of condition, the reason or place to complete the following and state which kind of clause you have used. A, we will go to the cinema without you if you are not here on time. Condition. B, the old lady could not stand up because of high fever. Reason. 
See, we will get very wet if we go in rain. Reason. D. The children left their books as they were ready to go for picnic. Reason. E. You should be reading your books since your exams since your exams are approaching near. Reason. F. The old man lived by himself since his son died. Reason. G. Dan Danish small white dog goes wherever it wants. Reason. H. I will spend all the money on clothes unless you give me choice. Condition. I. Obad does not eat meat as he is vegetarian. Reason. J. I am afraid you will have to have black coffee where you go. Reason. To identify the adverbial clauses in the following and say what kind they are. A. The children sat in the library because Mr. Arif told them to read more. Reason. B. She will be allowed to go to the party if you go with her. Condition. C. Since we are going, they can come to reason d he goes to the zoo whenever he visits the city time e he will never find out what is wrong unless he visits the doctor condition f they settled down on the grass where it was dry place g he will post you your letter as he is going that way reason h they will be allowed some sweets after they have eaten their dinner time Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.